Hey guys, I'm just coming with a video to show you how I relax and style my mohawk. So I'm starting off by applying a mild relaxer to my hair. I'm using mild because my hair is coarse, meaning that the diameter of my strand is a little bit bigger than normal, but I don't want my hair to be too straight. I still wanna maintain a slight amount of texture just to give my hair more body. So I'm applying the relaxer. After I'm done applying, I'm just going to smooth with my big green comb and then my hands. And after that's done, I'm going to rinse it right down. It took me about five to seven minutes to completely apply and smooth my relaxer. I am a licensed professional and I highly recommend seeing a professional for any chemical services done to your hair or at least consulting your local professional. So now I just rinsed my hair and neutralized it with a neutralizing shampoo and conditioned it and I'm moving on to molding. I'm molding my hair in the direction that I want it to be styled. So my sides are all going down, the back of my hair is going towards the back and right behind my crown, more towards the back of my hair, I'm bringing all that hair forward so that it can be molded in a standing up fashion so it's easier for me to get that stand up mohawk look. And keep in mind guys that my hair is cut into a mohawk style. It's gonna be a little bit more difficult for you to attain this style if your hair isn't cut into that way, but it isn't impossible. If you follow the same molding pattern, you should be able to achieve a similar result. And you guys, this is my first time recording and doing all of this editing on my phone. So just bear with me. It's going to take a little bit of time for me to get all of that down and for me to understand like everything that I need to do, get my music right, get my voiceovers right. But practice makes perfect. And you can see now that I'm molding my hair that there is a bit of texture maintained on the sides of my hair. I didn't relax the top because the ends of my hair on top are already relaxed. I have about an inch to two inches of natural roots at the top and the top of my hair isn't a super coarse texture so I can still achieve a pretty decent mold without a relaxer up there being that my ends are relaxed and I left some texture on the sides just so I can have more body and get a better blend between like the natural and relaxed and then transitioning top part of my hair. So now I'm just setting my hair with a do-rag and I'm just going to sit under the dryer 
until my hair is 100% dry. Now I'm applying my heat protection and serums before I go in and use my flat irons to style. So now I'm just going to go over my hair with a light holding spray. It's kind of a flexible hold and it's also an anti-humidity spray. Now we're on to the fun part, the flat ironing styling part. This one is pretty much just freestyle. You, I'm just curling my hair up, back, different directions. You can kind of see what I'm doing. You want to go with your own head shape and the way that you want your style to be. And I also wanted to mention that my flat iron is on a lower heat setting. I find when working with relaxed hair, it's better to work on a lower temperature. Probably, well, my temperature, my flat iron doesn't have like what exact degree it's on. So I have it probably half as high as it can go. So I'm assuming that's around 360 or 375. It helps to maintain more moisture and shine in the hair. When using high heat on relaxed hair, I find that it tends to really dry it out and make it kind of feel a bit crunchy. And I really like for my hair to still feel soft even though it has a bit of holding spray on it. So I just like to keep my flat iron pretty low. If your flat iron is just super hot, I like to um, alternate between turning it on and off similar to how you would use a pressing comb and testing it out on a towel to make sure that you're not scorching your hair. Now I'm moving on to the area kind of behind my crown, the drop back area, and I'm curling it up and then twisting my wrist back. You don't wanna curl this area too much cause you don't want a full C curl, but you do want a little curve so that it's a mohawk. So you can kind of see my motion. I'm bringing my flat iron up towards the front of my hair and then at the end, I'm curling it back.
so now you have a better view of what it is that I'm doing for this area of my hair and as I'm getting lower down I'm still going up but not as high as an of an angle I'm not doing a full curve because I want my hair to stand out and then when I get to the bottom of my hair where I started molding it down I'm bringing that hair upwards I'm curling all that hair up so I'm not doing a backwards motion anymore I'm doing a forward curl And that's all the curls done. So now I'm moving on to styling the sides of my hair. I just lightly go over it with my really small titanium flat iron. And I'm just doing, I'm not really doing a whole curl. I'm kind of just lifting my hair off of my scalp and giving it a little press. This just gives my hair more body. And just so it's not like painted flat down onto my hair. And over time, as I sleep, it does kind of flatten out again. So that's why I like to start off on first day hair with a little bit more body on the sides. And when you're doing this, you kind of want all of that hair to come towards your face. It gives you more of a edgy look instead of having it kind of push back behind your ears because then it takes away from the mohawk look a little bit. I'm just going to apply a bit of styling paste to the sides of my hair to give it a little bit of hold and I'm going to use it on my edges. It kind of dries naturally. It doesn't have an edge control type of holding dry. So I really like it because it gives me a nice soft, movable, touchable hair look. So I'm just misting my hair with a bit of shine spray and I'm going to use my comb to fluff and style and that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching guys. I'm so happy with how my hair came out.